Wait a minute, can you, can you get that switch for me? Do a burnout. It's all right. Shout out to the guy who thought this was a tomato. Buy one, get one. What a steal. Have a go on. One. I shouldn't be sorry, but I am sorry. The S13 is taking a very long time to complete, but every day it's just another step closer. You've heard me say we're almost done, but we are really almost done with the build. I'm going in today to install brake pads, bleed the lines, and then brakes are good. Slap those wheels on and see how they look. And then I'm gonna do like a small Q&A tomorrow just to kind of give you like an update on the builds. There's gonna be a lot of driving. You'll see why. When the next video comes out, you'll see why. <laughs> it's a little unfortunate, but I think it's what needs to be done regarding the Subaru. But I should have a little time on my hands on the road tomorrow, so comment below any Q&As about the builds you may have. Uh, I'll do my best to answer those. Why are you guys listening to like emo French music? Called jazz. <laughs> <laughs> I can't get over how good these wheels turned out. They look so good. Thank you, by the way, you guys. I am going to clear coat over the sticker. I appreciate the comments on that one. For those of you who were flipping out about spray painting some LMGT4s, well, you can suck my. These honestly came out so good. Look at that. So today, after I install the brake pads and bleed the brakes, I'm going to install these, so I'll at least get a taste to see what they look like. Uh, I'm gonna come back to clear coating over the sticker. I just wanna get these installed right now. After, in a second. So when I say we're super close to being done with the S13, I mean we are super close to being done with the S13. I'm going off the top of my head, shooting from the hip here, boys. <laughs> so, off the top of my head, uh, I have to figure out the engine management. We were originally going to run MAP, but you know, if I can get my hands on a standalone, then we'll be running MAP and then hooking up the intercooler and adding some fluid. That can't really be it. We got the drive line, it was next to the wheels. If you guys saw that, that came in, so attaching that, and yeah, I guess we'll be ready for our first turnover. Cool. And full disclosure. Oh yeah, this is super close to my face, but time to jack up the car. I really love these calipers, the Z32 calipers. I actually run these bigger brakes on my S14. I love them, they're super easy to do brake pad jobs on, because you literally just slatted them through the top. And instead of just doing one at a time, I'm just gonna take all the wheels off at once just to streamline this process. I'm weirdly not a fan of putting my hair up, but few TT time. <laughs> When you set up the camera to film you hitting the other two wheels, but you forget to hit record. <laughs> That's all right, you guys don't need to see that anyways. <laughs> but how am I already dirty? So first off, I'm going to swap the pads, and then before I breathe the blade, the br bleh, and before I bleed the brakes, I have to connect the lines. The guys here had used the calipers to test an issue on an old car. Uh, and I just, we just didn't get around to, they just, they just didn't put the lines back on. <laughs> I turned the key on the battery, even though not that was connected, hoping it would break this list. But clearly it didn't, so I'm just gonna have to work from here. Just noticed the yet to be finished head drain. That piece right there is interfering with the column. And that's why the wheel isn't turning. Maybe a little ghetto, don't judge me, but I gotta push out the piston somehow in order to fit the new brake pads, so I'm gonna use this vice grip. 
If I had the old pads, I would put those in and then use the, the twisty thingy to separate them, but I don't have the twisty thingy. Actually, no, I have the twisty thingy. I don't have the, the old bird pads. <sighs> New plan. I figured out a fix and what I'm doing is I'm sticking a piece of cardboard against the rudder and then I've got this nifty little pry bar in order to push them back in. Side note, if anyone has a little dust cover for the caliper, you know, the little spring piece, please send me two fronts. If anyone has it, honestly, please. <laughs> so the brakes I'm using are Hawk pads. I'm sure a lot of you guys, if you're in the automotive industry, have heard of Hawk, and that's what we're putting on the car. These are, look like fronts. Ta-da! Rears. Now let's test fit these front pads. That's what I meant to say. I'm gonna put the rabbit ear, the little squealer, when you get too low on the backside though. And I'm gonna lube up the backside and I'm also gonna lube up these little pins. <laughs> I'm gonna put this on a clean surface. And uh, I'm also gonna take my glove off for this because it's not as messy if I can contain it inside. He doesn't know what I'm saying. That's what she said. Yeah. And these are all tips and tricks I learned from Booch. If you guys been watching since day one, then you know Booch was kind of my mentor after my father passed. We had met in Indiana. Um, you know, after I got the G35, and he's kind of what sparked my LS interest. Um, but he taught me a base of a lot of what I know. He was the first one to ever teach me how to do brake pads, and I did them on the G35. And he was the one who taught me that I need to lube up the backs. And now the front. Booch taught me a lot of things. Like how to shock in a beer. <laughs> so Booch, if you watching this, comment below and troll everyone who comments on this video. It's funny. Like a glove. That fit nicely. And this all just prevents it from like squeaking and squealing. When I like the tubs, I just dip it in. And that's done. All right, let's do the back one now. So now onto the rears, and the rears actually have some used brake pads in there as well, so I'll get to pop those out and probably don't have to pry out the pistons very much either. These are super dry and crusty. even wear. Now I'm going to lube up the back sides of these. So it looks like I'm gonna have to push the piston out a little bit. Don't try that at home. <laughs> Since these are very dry and crusty, I'm going to clean these up and move them up as well. Fits like a glove. And now I just need my little cutter pin type thingy. I guess that's everything. Brake pads are like super simple. Now I'm going to tighten the brake line and then bleed the brake. Bad, bad brakes, but yeah. So I didn't film it, but I did bleed the brakes. I used this fancy little snap-on tool. And it actually was like way too easy. Brake fluid is full. What I really want to do is mount the wheels and see how they look. So let's do that. I am going to put the sticker on clear coat over it, just not right now today, that'll be Give me, give me a few days here. I just want to see what the wheels look like. So if you guys notice, there's still tape in the barrel. I'm gonna leave these tape, this tape, the, the tape on inside the barrels of the wheels. 
And I got the valve stems because, because I am going to clear coat them again, but my God, those look so good. I'm really just putting them on right now to see how they look. I'll spray them again later, I just have to see how they look. There's a very light clear coat on them right now, so I'm gonna be careful not to touch the face too much. Cause I wanna go back and get a little bit of extra paint on the inside of some of the spokies here. Oh, these are thick tires. <laughs> That's a lot harder not touching the spokes. I kinda like the stock silver look of the calipers too. Oh, that looks good. Let me do the front before I do like a step back shot. Uh, I just kind of noticed this. If you guys are ever using the, the wheel cleaner, the tire cleaner, to prevent the overspray and easy, make it easy to clean, it did stain it a bit. So that's something I have to touch up when like I touch up the wheels. But I was just gonna show you that real quick. It kind of made it like yellow almost, but like maybe not right off, but it comes off. Oh, buddy. This looks so good. This looks so OG. I'm so stoked on this. Look how, uh, this is like the cherry on top. God, these look good. Uh, one thing I am fearful of and I am gonna have to be very careful of is when I put it, the car on the ground with the new wheels, I have to make sure that clearance isn't an issue. But I don't see why it should be. The overall rolling diameter of these wheels and the others I think is the same, but. That looks good. OG, looks good. The white matches the body white. This is one of those things you can stare at forever. I look, he really like these wheels with a vert too. I don't know what it is, but it gives it that like, that clean like PCH look too, which is exactly what we're going for. Oh man. And this is with the front bumper on. This is, you guys, how she's gonna look when she's done. Ugly and stock. <laughs> It's all coming together. <sighs> okay, be roll. Thank you for all the love and support. You crew, we out here with love. Bye. <laughs>